All right, this is Block 5, Section 2, Return to Normalcy, the section starting with the Veterans Bureau. Uh, the Veterans Bureau was a government bureau. I, when Harding and Coolidge say return to normalcy, this does not mean that they are cutting government back to laissez-faire 1870s um, amounts. They are going to trim government. They are going to make government more efficient, but they are not going to be cutting programs uh, that were established during the Progressive Era. In fact, they established certain programs, programs like the Veterans Bureau. And the purpose of the Veterans Bureau was to provide these returning World War I veterans um, with government services to find jobs um, to provide health care for soldiers that had been uh, wounded in battle. Um, they were there to um, support veterans, you know, that had returned from the front, that um, over 100,000 Americans had been killed in World War I, several hundreds of thousands had been wounded, uh, and they all could, uh, the government realized that it was kind of incumbent upon them to help them out. Uh, the official government uh, bureau was the Veterans Bureau, but the American Legion was also founded after World War I as more of a, um, a social element uh, for America's veterans, that veterans of the First World War could join a local American Legion, and it would be kind of one of those um, little platoons of society, as de Tocqueville called them. Uh, it offered moral support, financial support, medical support, all on a private basis, that funds were collected among members and dispersed among members. Um, it was another way for veterans to um, settle back into a nor uh, pattern of normalcy uh, after the war. So the American Legion uh, did that uh, privately, and the Veterans Bureau sort of did the same sorts of things um, on a government level. You can still, if you drive around any town, you can still see uh, American Legion posts. and. You know, they were hugely popular uh, in, you know, the 50s and 60s and 70s. Uh, and as the World War I and World War II generations have begun to die out, uh, they're not frequented as, as much uh, by veterans of Vietnam and the Gulf and our more recent wars. Uh, but they're still open and they're still providing the same sorts of services uh, to American veterans as they did after the First World War.